Hey guys, wanted to post an update to my Yolink Evo Valve Operator video. Uh, I've got the Valve Controller 2 that can close this valve if it detects a leak from any of the leak sensors in the house, and right now it's doing that through the hub, but you can also set these up to communicate directly to each other using a device-to-device -device, uh, connection over a LoRa network. Uh, and the advantage of that is if you lose power and our internet in your house, you can actually have these two still working, communicating directly together. And if this detects a leak, it will send a signal directly to the valve controller too, which will then in turn turn off the Evo valve operator and shut off the water. Again, even if you've lost power or internet. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you've got batteries installed in the valve controller. And my valve controller is connected to a power adapter. So it is able to normally have power from the house, but in the event that you lose that power, you do need to make sure you've got batteries in here. Uh, now it does come with batteries installed. Uh, I didn't mention that in my first video, but this does come with four AA batteries already installed. So no need to put those in if you bought this new. Okay, so the first step is you actually need to close the valve before you pair them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and press the button on the valve controller here to close my valve. And then to pair this leak sensor to the valve controller, you're gonna press and hold the set button on the leak sensor for five to 10 seconds till it starts flashing green. And then we're gonna press and hold the set button on the controller till it starts flashing green. And when it does, we're gonna release it. And now they're paired. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open the valve. So with the valve open to test that the pairing worked correctly, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and trigger the leak sensor and see if the valve closes. Now I've not configured my Yolink hub to close the valve. So the only way that this would work is if the device to device pairing over the LoRa network worked successfully. So what I'm gonna to do to test this is just lick my thumb and short these two electrodes and trigger this leak sensor and we see that it immediately started closing the valve here. And again, I'm not configured through the Yolink hub to do this, so this is the device-to-device -device communication working as intended. All right, so that's awesome. Uh, you do have to do this, unfortunately, for each of your leak sensors, so I'm gonna have to do this uh, eight more times. I've got nine of these. Um, but yeah, so that's a great feature, again, allows you to make sure that you can close off and prevent flooding even if you've lost power or internet to your house. Okay, and just one other update I want to provide. If you want to activate this handle manually, you can do so if you press this clutch release back here. Otherwise, you won't be able to actuate it. So if I press this, it will release it. You can see I can open the valve and I can also, and the pin will pop when it's in position here. And again, I can press and release it, and I can go ahead and close the valve. Now, one thing to note, if you actuate the valve manually like this, uh, the valve controller will not know that you've changed the position. So it's important if you do that, that you eventually end up putting it back in to its original position, whether it was open or closed, before you attempt to use the valve controller again. If I open this, for example, the valve controller would still think it was closed or vice versa. So I've put it back to a closed position and the pin's back out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and reopen it here. Okay, so that's it here for my update on the Yolink valve operator video. Hope that was helpful. Thanks again and uh, we'll see you in the next video.